Hello, this is Matthew Boyle from LanguageCardGames.com. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Today we're here with another video about the Lightner Box. And this video is called Five Reasons Why You Are Using Your Lightner Box Wrong. That title sounds a little bit strong, but actually some of these ideas here are really just some of my personal opinions about how you could be uh, not using your Lightner box as well as you possibly could. And I believe, I'm not sure, so don't quote me on this, but I believe I've put up more videos about the Lightner box than anybody else. So if you're really interested in how to use this box and this system effectively, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. And if you're very new to this and you don't know how to make or use a Lightner box yet, I'm going to put a link in this video to take you to my most popular video about how to do that. And maybe you should watch that one first. Okay, let's jump in. The first reason is you cheat in terms of time, correctness, or skipping days. So if it takes you too long to recognize uh, your card, if you are not quite getting your card correct, or if you're skipping days or skipping the time that you set aside to do this, all of for all of those reasons, um, that may impact your practice negatively. So try to tighten up there. Number two, you don't shuffle. So this is a kind of a, something I noticed when I was practicing with my Lightner box that I would start to recognize cards based on how close they were to other cards or based on the order that they were still in because you would go through a chunk of cards and then move them together and you see them in the same order, um, which um, obviously that would not be happening in normal life. So you want to shuffle the cards before or after you pull out a file, before before or after you pull out a group. You, you want to make sure you're shuffling the cards. And I've also noticed, this may be important to you, that the color of the cards can indicate to me, can help to indicate to me the answer. So that might be a reason why you want to use all the same color or same sized cards. But one reason I'm using different colors is <clears throat> because I pull vocabulary from different sources and I want to remember where did I get that information. Okay, number three. Number three is you don't chart your victories. I think this is really important to do. You should have a little calendar. Let me yank mine off my whiteboard, whiteboard really quick. I'm always not fully prepared. You should have a calendar on your wall, and you should have your Lightner box out, and you should check off every day when you use this um, to give yourself visible encouragement. If you're not doing that, I think it could really help you. Number four. Number four is you don't educate yourself. And what I mean by that is you don't study the videos that are out there about how to use this system most effectively because there are many different ways to do it. And um, again, I recommend you subscribe to my channel because I have a playlist of all the Lightner box videos I've ever made and I think I have at least six videos now about it. So study how not only how to use the Lightner box and system correctly and effectively, but also how to make and use flashcards correctly and effectively. Okay, and the last one, number five, is your flashcards are wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Now, of course, if you're making a lot of flashcards every day, there's going to be the chance that you have a few that are wrong. But if you are too lackadaisical with your flashcard production, then all that means is you're going to be studying mistakes. You're going to be studying wrong information and drilling that into your school. And obviously that would not be good. And that's why some people might say you should buy flashcards from a reliable company. But I think that the danger there is not bad enough 
that I would go to start buying cars from other people because I still think the benefit is greater uh, for if I make the cards by hand. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video about the five, uh, the five ways that you are using your flashcards wrong. And let's reverse these five really quick and put them in a positive way by, by means of review. For number one, make sure that you are being stringent with yourself in terms of recognizing your cards quickly so that we know they're in the automatic memory and you're getting them correctly. And don't skip days. Number two, make sure you shuffle your cards after you take them out before you go through them. Or make sure you shuffle them after you've gone through them, before you put them back in. Number three, check off, show, show your progress to yourself every day on your wall. Number four, study well how to use these systems and how to make flashcards. And number five, double check that your flashcards don't have mistakes. And if possible, give them to a tutor or a friend or a teacher to rifle through really quickly and point out if there's any mistakes. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Matthew Boyle from LanguageCardGames.com, How Gamers Learn Languages. I'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye.